Well, my name is Matt Corso. I'm the art director at High Voltage Software, and I'm showing off uh, the Conduit 2. Well, Conduit 2 pretty much picks up right where the first one left off. And uh, Conduit 2, uh, if you remember the way that the first game ended, uh, the second one will pretty much start immediately following, and it will make perfect sense to you what's going on. But even if you haven't played the first game, uh, don't want to scare any, any potential folks off because uh, we've made this game so that it's um, a, a very new experience, it's a lot of fun, and it makes a lot of sense to the player even if they haven't played the first one before. For example, multiplayer started stronger, single player started stronger right from the very get-go, and um, if we just kept trying as, as much as we could to show the game to the fans, ask them how they felt about things, take as many notes as we could, give those notes back to the team and make adjustments accordingly. And so really the way Conduit 2 shaped up really is tailored by not only the studio, the, uh, the talented people at our studio, but also the fans. Like folks had uh, liked it and they had things they wanted to see improved. We listened to you and we made those changes. If you really think about your approach to development, you can most likely pull off anything that you can think of. And so a good example of that, I think, is multiplayer online for our game. Like when we first was first released, it didn't, uh, wasn't fully set up, the infrastructures weren't fully prepared yet for online multiplayer components. We went for it and Nintendo worked with us and now we've got a really robust multiplayer online system. That'd be an example of something that's like, we never actually thought we couldn't do it, we just had to figure out how we could accomplish that goal. And it's been the same with pretty much everything that we've, we've approached with uh, Conduit 2 with. It's like giant leviathan snakes, you know? When we couldn't figure out how to make the ser serpent move the way we wanted them to, we came up with new rigs, new ways that we can animate our character. When we couldn't find ways that we could make uh, the, the graphics look as quality as we wanted them to, we developed our technology to a point where, you know, it's, it's way more complete and it does lots of cool tricks. Um, when we didn't have weapons that suited, you know, uh, the, the more fantastical gameplay styles that we knew we wanted to embrace with the sequel, we conceptualized new ones and we came up with lots of interesting new stuff and we came up with tricks that would enable us to uh, to put those things in, into into play. And so we're like, really for us, I think as a studio, it's, it's not really a question of whether or not we can do something. It's more like we know what we want to do, we just got to figure out how we're going to accomplish that goal. Nintendo Wii Control, we can do four players, uh, same box, split screen, multiplayer. And, you know, going back to the old classic days of Nintendo gaming with the Golden Eyes and those kind of games, I mean, that's something that we really wanted to do for the sequel. And so, first and foremost, that's something that you can do on Nintendo Wii. It's functioning very well, it works really well. So, that's great. And then, as far as um, the rest of it, I mean, we definitely have a head start on the motion control side, and it's feeling very smooth, it works very well, and, you know, it, and it's very natural, I think, for players to pick up and play. As far as what they'll be doing on other systems in the future, I, they're gonna nail it, it's gonna be brilliant, we're all going to love it, but it's going to be different than what we're doing because you have to realize that those, those devices actually work a bit differently than the way the Nintendo, uh, that Nintendo's device works. And so there are going to be subtle differences. I think in the end there's going to be room for both. I don't suppose those are free drugs, eh, Prometheus? Their hostility would certainly indicate otherwise. Well, something to keep in mind with uh, the first Conduit game is that for a game that uh, was an original IP that no one had ever heard of before, um, it sold fairly well, and it actually sold out just about every copy that was manufactured. So, uh, you know, in, in that way we saw, we see it as a success. And then, uh, you know, I, I think uh, because of the popularity of the game, it just seemed like it made perfect sense to make the sequel. And, uh, you know, whether or not it will sell this time uh, and, and, you know, how fans will receive it and whether or not it will be critically acclaimed or critically panned is yet to be seen. But, you know, in the end, you know, just like we do with the first game, we put just as much passion into it and we try to embrace the players that did want the game. And there are a lot of uh, really uh, outspoken folks who support Conduit. And so they, those, I think, at the end of the day were the people that um, were uh, encouraging us to want to keep going. My name is Matt Corso. I'm the art director at High Voltage Software. I'm here today to show you Conduit 2, which is releasing on April 22nd in Europe.